Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexis. Um, in this video, I'm just going to be doing a quick little get ready with me. I haven't filmed one of these in a hot minute, um, but I have gained a couple new subscribers. Thank you and welcome to the channel. Um, I'm very excited about it. Um, I recently did a collaboration with um, Christiana James. Um, she was known as Eyes and Beauty before she re renamed her channel and all her stuff so um so if you guys came from there thank you very much welcome nice to have you um anyway tonight i'm going out with the girls we are discussing everything 10 year anniversary party for next year and i'm really really excited about it so um i guess we should just kind of like you know like uh, 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 uh talk about it maybe um, I've just realized I don't have my water bottle in here and I am so parched I will return okay so I'm back with my water bottle in hand yes thank you very thirsty um, I'm still trying to decide what palette I want to use I'm thinking about using the um, the BH cosmetics glam reflection smoke palette which looks like this um, I, uh, uh. I haven't used this palette before, um, but it's not really inspiring me, but at the same time, like, it's a pretty palette, but, like, the, the color story is a little, like, if I wanted to do a simple brown look, I could do that easily, um, and I haven't done a brown look in a minute either. Everything I've been doing lately is all color, color, color. I haven't done, like, a really neutral, smoky brown eye in a long time. I haven't done a smoky brown look, not brown eye, a uh, brown look in quite some time. So I think I might actually do that today, to be honest. TBH, TBH Beach. So, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to use the Glam Reflections palette. So thirsty. I feel like I haven't had, like, anything to drink today, even though I've had, like, I reckon, like, four cups of coffee. I've had, um some water like, I just feel really dehydrated all of a sudden but anyway I'm starting off with my MAC paint pot in the color painterly I'm looking forward to whenever I finish this because then I can start using my soft ochre and I'll see which one of the two that I like better um, but this is my eyeshadow primer and I, I like this because it kind of goes down to a matte finish. Like, um, yeah, it goes down to a matte finish. It's not particularly tacky, but it almost, like, dries down so that it's to, like, a powdery finish is what I was trying to say, not matte finish. Um, I am so out of practice when it comes to talking in front of a camera. Um, but, yeah, so it dries down. It, I mean, it's still a little tacky, but... Um, it almost dries down to a powdery finish, so I really like it. Um, I don't feel like it is, like, um, how do you say? I don't, I'm, how do you say? Um, I, um, what am I trying to say? Fuck's sakes. Um, it doesn't stay, like, super tacky, so it's not like your eyelids are sticking together. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't mind it at all. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into, there are no shade names, Okay. So I'm going to go into, trying to see which colors aren't shimmers in here. Is that a shimmer? No, that's not a shimmer. But do I want to go, yeah, I'm going to do the browns. I'm going to stick with the browns. So the first color I'm going to go in with is this, whoop, this color right here. That little middle brown color. Tan, I guess. I'm just going to. Now, I haven't used a lot of BH Cosmetics stuff, but what I have used of it, I'm really impressed with. I really like their brushes. Um, their brushes are so nice. Um, I, I say as I'm using a ColourPop brush, but, um, but no, my sister-in-law for Hanukkah this year, or last year actually, um, bought me a BH Cosmetics um, palette and brush set and I 
use that palette in my um, for my pan project uh, or project pan I always get that mixed up and uh, and I, I have used it several times um, I just find that there's not enough mattes in it and that's not you know my sister-in-law's fault she didn't know I didn't know um, but it is a wonderful palette and the eyeshadows I haven't really I don't think I've had a hard time with any of them to be honest they just kind of go on really nicely but this is very pigmented really pretty on the eye I need to clean this mirror off with something because one of the when it was shipping one of the the black as you could see um, broke so the black here just like came and it was just split and it just went ever and I was like please when I got it I was like please 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 tell me not one of these is broken and of the one that was broken it was of course the black and so it got fucking everywhere it was a mess I was so irritated but it's nobody's fault you know but it was still like oh you son of a bitch so I think I'm gonna stick with this top row and I'm gonna go I'm gonna start dark I'm gonna go dark already I'm gonna go in with this this smoky brown it's a uh, yeah I would say it's like a gray brown what color is that um I don't know it's like a gray brown color um, I, I I can't use words I <laughs> I've just woken up from a nap and um, I'm using a BH cosmetics brush now it's the number five um, I uh, my words are not with me at the moment I'm very very tired I have not had a, a good time with sleep of late um, I have been so very very tired I woke myself up the other night yelling if you don't back the fuck up right now and I was just like what the hell am I dreaming like I don't even remember what I was dreaming about but I was very very uh, intense in that dream and wow I I yeah that was an interesting you know to wake up to and then another time I woke up because I was saying something else and I don't remember what I was saying that time but I do remember waking up and just being like oh that was the time my husband shook me um, to wake me up and so I don't know how many times I woke him up during the night but I woke up a few times because I yeah I've I've been under a little stress lately um, I am really trying to um, focus on a trip that I'm taking with my husband later this year back to the States it's our first trip back in five years um, I mentioned it a little in the last video um, that I put up the one um, where I talked about losing my job so we're really excited um, we decided that we're, I don't can't remember if I told you guys or not but we're gonna be taking a week holiday from our holiday and it's just gonna be my husband and I and we're going to a cabin up in the hill country um, at my daddy's timeshare and it's just gonna be my husband and I and we're just gonna enjoy each other's company and just like reconnect and not not like we're having problem marital issues or anything like that like not that kind of like we need to reconnect but we're just gonna like I go, I check in with each other and just be in each other's company I mean you know it that's something we have never done we've never just gone on holiday just Paul and I to an exotic location and I mean not that the Texas Hill Country is exotic but it's something he's never seen before um, so it's gonna be really nice so we're doing that the week after Thanksgiving we're going up and um, and then yeah it'll be really nice I'm I'm very much so looking forward to seeing all my friends and my family um, whom I haven't seen in five years so it's it's been a long long freaking time um, okay I'm gonna kind of buff that color out with this taupe color and I'm gonna go on top um, above it and use that taupe color to kind of soften that brown edge 
Oh, that just... Oh, that's pretty. I thought it deepened it, but no, it's softening out those edges really prettily. Prettily. Is that even a... That's not even a word. I just made a, a word. Oop. Making oop words all the time, apparently. That's my new gig. Making up words. I feel like this is almost an 80s look. Um, yeah, I'm just using that color to kind of buff out the edges. And I'm going to use one of the other colors in here to do a brow bone highlight. Um, but I think so far that's working out really well. I wonder if, like, the Stranger Things is popularizing, like, the 80s again. Like, making everybody nostalgic. Like, everybody my age nostalgic for the 80s. And so that's why a lot of 80s fashion and style of music and stuff like that's coming back. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't think I like it very much. I mean, the 80s were okay. Like, you know, they, they were okay. I'm not, like, a huge fan of the 80s. I don't hate the 80s. But, they you know, they weren't really, like, my favorite time. Um, okay, the... I think the 90s were much better. I really enjoyed the 90s a lot more. Um, you know, the grunge coming in and, and you know, the hair bands going out. And, um, you know, it was, yeah, I just, I don't know. I really like the grunge era. I've never really left the grunge era. Let me be honest with you. Um, I'm still grunge at heart. I love my flannels and jeans that, you know, are really too big and, and, you know, worn at the edges. And I just, I love, love it. Love it. I never left, never left the nineties. Um, all right. So the next color I'm going to go in with is, I don't know. I think I'm going to go in with this shimmer color right here. That one. Still trying to work out how to use my camera. Um, my new setup. I'm going to pat that all over the eyelid. This is, gonna, like I said, a pretty simple look. I'm not going for anything extravagant. Um, I'm going to one of my favorite places to eat. It's called Akiba. Um, it is so yummy. So, so yummy. Uh, it's a little more expensive, but it's because it's a very trendy restaurant to go to. Um, but the food is phenomenal. They have this Kobe beef steak that is amazing. And then they've got these, um, what do they call them? Is it twice roasted potatoes or something like that? And they serve it with like Kewpie mayonnaise and dill over the top of it. And it's just, oh, and then they've got this, fr okay, I can talk for hours about food. Um, but I'm not going there just for the food. I'm going there because my girlfriends and I are going to be talking about things that we're going to be um, doing for our 10-year anniversary party that is coming up soon next year. Um, it's six months out. I know it's pretty early to start planning, but I want to make sure that <clears throat> we have a really bomb time and don't have to worry about, like, stressing out about... Um, like catering and music and decorations and stuff like that. So I want to like really kind of hone in on the decorations and stuff like that. And now I need to start worrying about, uh, Oh, I forgot primer. Ooh. Um, I'm going to be using my Tatcha silk canvas primer. I haven't used her in a minute. Where's my little disc? Oh, poop. Oh, there it is. I found it. I found it. Hooray. Hooray. And I dropped my foundation. Thank goodness this is carpeted floor and not tile because that would have broken my tile. But this is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Have not used her in a minute. I'm so happy to be using it. I love the way this stuff smells. Oh, I could just sit and smell it. Like, I know that sounds really strange, but it's so true. It's just a divine scent. It's it's very subtle. It's not overpowering or offensive. It's a clean smell. It's a really nice, clean smell. Um, and it, oh, 
it really is so it just smooths it does it really truly does smooth it doesn't do so much pore filling for me which is why I um which is why I do things uh, which is why I use this matchbox um, poreless foundation primer was it photo photo finish Wow, I suck at this today um, but I use this just on my cheek bones or cheek area so it's this one here um, and I use that and I mush in my t-zone just to kind of give me that extra added little buffer of, so, of sorts so you can say but yeah so the wedding plans um, you know I've kind of done a little bit of planning already um, we know the theme that we want to go for I just don't know if it's gonna be like a fancy dress party or not um, I kind of don't want it to be simply because I you know I don't want people to have to like hire or really like stress out about what to wear um, I just kind of want people to come and just have fun and dance and drink and have a good time and eat some good food and you know um, just make some memories with us for the night you know I think that's I think that's much more important um, so my foundation I'm going in with is my Fenty Beauty uh, I'm using the 150 because I'm finding that this is working better for my skin tone um, it comes off like it looks grayish in the bottle but the undertone is neutral and I am very neutral to warm undertones um, but I mean as you can see like it blends right into my cheek so it's a good color match for me um, it just I feel like sometimes it tends to wash me out but um, I usually fix that up with bronzer anyway so it doesn't matter so much um, but Oh God, I don't know what I'm going to do when I run out of this foundation. Because, I mean, granted, 50 bucks is not that pricey for a foundation. Well, when you don't have a job, it's pricey for a foundation. So I might have to find a drugstore foundation that I can use every day that doesn't break me out or um, is the right color. Like, the... Um, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation is really good. I like that foundation a lot for just everyday wear. Um, I usually tend to like keep my Fenty or my Dior or my um, Estee Lauder foundations for like going out, but um, but if I'm doing a makeup look, just like a simple tutorial, um, I'll use the Maybelline Fit Me foundation because. You know, if I'm just gonna take it, off, put it on, and take it off, I'd much rather use something that was drugstore than I would my luxury brands. You know, is Fenty even considered luxury brand? Because it doesn't have luxury brand pricing. But I know, like, I don't know. I haven't heard many people talking much about Fenty in a while, actually. Um, so I don't know. But I stopped watching a lot of the beauty gurus lately because I just, I'm very, uh, very disillusioned with the community at the moment. Um, and so I have, have shied away from watching a lot of, a lot of content creators that I used to watch all the time. Um, like I would religiously watch, like the only person that I actually like hang out for is Raw Beauty Christie. Um, she is my spirit animal. Um, I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the color Light 10. And, um, yeah, she's the only one that I ever really like. I'm like, I wonder if she's going to come out with a video today, you know, like, and I'll watch her videos because she cracks me the fuck up. She, she is so hilarious and so talented. Um, she just, she like like um oh, what's her face emma stone said in in zombie land about bill murray he just she just goes straight to my funny bone like there's just something about her that just cracks me sideways and i love um 
But uh, yeah, a lot of the other beauty gurus, like I don't, I don't watch them anymore. I just there's so much drama going on in all the communities. Like my Twitter feed is just like bickering and fighting between different camps and stuff like that, and it's it gets pretty friggin' intense, dude. Like people's children are getting brought into it, and like it's 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 getting nasty out there, guys, and it's. It's hard to watch. Like, it's hard to watch and not be affected by it in some way. Um, you know, I'm not affected in the way that, you know, the people right in the middle of it are. But my, you know, mental health is just like, ugh. Like, I, you know, don't want to see. I, I go to the internet to escape. I don't go there to have anxiety attacks over somebody's posts. You know, like, it's pretty friggin' intense. Like, I got enough shit going on in my life. I don't need added drama. Um, now I'm going to go in with, that was my Laura Mercier powder. That's just to set. Um, I don't so much bake because I find that it gives me, like, crepey under eyes because I've, I'm starting to get old lady skin under my eyes. As my skin is maturing. I find that if I let it bake more than a few seconds, I end up looking like really dry and tired. Um, but I usually hit myself with a, I've been using the, the seal the deal dewy finish spray from flower beauty and I'm still obsessed with it. Um, I'm a, I've always thought that I was a matte finish kind of gal and that I was never going to like a dewy finish, but that was the only formula they had because the uh, original, the, um, the regular setting spray, the matte setting spray, was sold out. And so I actually, the, uh, what was I trying to say? My brain is not functioning right now. Um, the regular matte setting spray was out of stock. So I was like, well, I want to get something because it was when I was doing a full face. That's right. <clears throat> a full face of Flower Beauty. And I'm like, well, I have to have something. And so I grabbed the matte setting or the Dewey Cine finished setting spray and I have been using it basically every time that I'd use a setting spray. Um, I don't always remember to use a setting spray, but when I do, that's the one I reach for. Um, all right. So now I'm just going to bronze up my face real quick. So this is the NARS bronzer in the color Casino. I really like this bronzer. It's a very natural finished bronzer and it just brings back a little bit of color to my face. Um, I don't really use it for sculpting or anything like that. Have you noticed that when people are using brushes, they, they tend to bounce when they're putting their stuff on? Like, I even do, where I'm like, you know, just b getting into it and bouncing instead of just sitting and... Why I don't... Why does that happen? I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. But I notice it on other, like, on some of the bigger... Like, even Raw Beauty Christie. She's the one that I actually, I noticed it happening on and I'm like, why is she bouncing? <laughs> It's funny the little things that you notice that that are just kind of like, I wonder why. Maybe it's just the action of doing this and then you kind of just like, the the it starts moving through your body and then you just start doing it and you don't even realize you're doing it. Who knows? Who knows? If anybody does know out there, write it in the comments. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the bouncing beauty gurus. Tati does it. Tati does it a lot. Actually, I noticed um, when she like is talking and getting into it, like she she bounces. She full on bounces, and it's really cute. But I haven't watched a video of hers in a while either, for that matter. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just kind of getting burnt out on all the drama and the pettiness and the you know the bickering, just the constant bickering is just it's exhausting it's exhausting like I come to you for advice about makeup not for you know petty shit that should be handled behind the scenes you know like if a, you know friendships come and go like they you know throughout your life you will have many friendships and you will have many that you know run their course and then you know you move on but you don't have to bring that drama to your subscribers in my opinion 
So, I don't know. That's just my thoughts on the matter. But who cares about my thoughts? All right, I got to get a wriggle on because my friend's going to be here um, soon. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, excuse me, first I'm going to go under my eyes. I'm going to go in the same order that I did before. So I'm going to go this color and then the taupey, the taupe color. I'm going to drag that underneath my lash line. I need a brush for that. I guess this one will do. Um, this is an E1 from ColourPop. Um, still, I've used one BH Cosmetics brush <laughs> through this whole tutorial. Maybe I should use a, another one of their brushes if I can find one. No, it's too hard. <laughs> I have a lot of brushes. Evelyn has actually been giving me shit because I keep saying that I want to buy new brushes. And she's like, you already have a ton of brushes. And I was like, I know, but I don't have those brushes. And she's like, no, you cannot buy more brushes. So she's put me on a no buy for brushes. Well, you know what I say to your no buy for brushes? Bye, beach. No, I'm joking. I'm joking, joking, joking. Um, I'm going in with that slightly taupey color. And just kind of connecting the two outside corners. I didn't mean to blow that out as much as I have, but... Whatever, I wanted to go for kind of more of an elegant look, not so much a smoky look, but I think in the beginning of the video I said I was going to do a smoky look, so whatever. Whatever, Trevor. Oh, and I found out that my all-time favorite brand in the world, Incubus, is going to be playing um, a show in Houston and um, two shows in Austin, and I was like practically, it was like three days after we get in, and they're going to be there. And I was like, looked at my husband and I was like, oh my God, Incubus is going to be there. And he's like, and I'm like, we can't afford it. We can't afford to go. And so he just, <clears throat> I think he was going to try and surprise me. And then he looked up at the ticket prices and he was like, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to go. And I'm like, well, I already knew that. And he's like, no, the tickets are a hundred dollars a piece. And I was like, oh, hell no, hell no, we're not going. Like, I love Incubus, but we don't have that kind of money to spend on this trip. So, um, we're going to have to be quite frugal because, obviously, I don't have a job anymore. Um, and I'm not making any money from YouTube at the moment. But hopefully that'll change soon. Like, I'd really like to be able to do something with this channel and make it grow. And, like, you know, <clears throat> bring in some money to help the situation until like the settlement comes through or um calm care comes back you know that kind of thing um calm care is workers compensation by the way anyway um so what i'm going to do is on my inner corner i'm going to go in with this shade here and i'm just going to hit aha uh -huh, another bh cosmetics brush this is the studio pro number eight brush it's this one here um, I'm going to hit that on my inner corner. Oh, that's pretty. That's so pretty. I feel like I've been rambling, like, about absolutely nothing this entire video. So, sorry. But it's been a long time since I've done a get ready with me, full stop. Um, oh, Shiza. Um, that black mas mascara, the black shadow got into this color and I was trying to, like, get rid of it. Like, by removing the top layer. <sighs> there we go. That seems to have worked a bit better. Um, gonna hit my inner corner with that. Bring it down a little bit. There. That's quite nice. It's very pretty. And I think I might actually hit my brow bone with that color, too. Just the very tippy top. Just where the natural arch of my eyebrow hits. Pretty. Like it, like it lots. Actually, I really, I'm digging this eye look. It's very pretty. It's not a look that I've kind of done, I don't think, ever. If it has ever been done on my channel, it was a long ass time ago. Um, Alright. 
Now I need to find my brow definer. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Oh, and what do you think about the new stuff that ABH has been coming out with? And like, how they're like coming out with things in rapid succession, like the Norvina 1 and the Norvina 2 palette and the Sultry palette had only just been out and then the Jackie Ina palette had only just been out for a couple weeks and then it feels like they're releasing something like every week. It's really hard to catch up with and like keep up with. I don't know. I'm kind of getting like overloaded with ABH stuff. If that makes sense. Like it just feels like it's just ABH after ABH after ABH. It feels almost like color pop. But, you know, luxury brand. And I'm not trying to be, like, shady and say that ColourPop isn't a luxury brand. But we all know they're not. They're great quality makeup for really inexpensive prices. Um, I really, I love me some ColourPop. I want that green, ow! I want that green eyeshadow palette that they've got. I want that so bad. I love greens, but I've been burnt by greens. Like the <clears throat> the James Charles palette, the greens in there just fluff away off of my eye. I don't know why. They just never stick. And it infuriates me when I'm doing I'm trying to do a green smoky eye and the greens don't freaking adhere to my lids. I'm gonna use my Melba Blush. Melba Blush from um Mac looks like this here. It's a very pretty neutral kind of blush. See, that's really pretty. Nice and warm toned. It's a warm toned rose color. It's really pretty. And I'm going to kind of bring that onto my nose a little bit. Just kind of warm up the middle of my face a little. I'm not going to bring it full across like Chrissy does. But, um... I like putting blush on my nose. I used to actually put blush like up here as well, um, just to kind of give my face that rosy appearance all around, but I don't do that anymore because I don't like the way it looks now, but I used to love it. I don't, I don't know why I started. I think I saw my cousin do it once. Oh, so thirsty. And I'm gonna have some sake tonight. Okay, I'm, I'm slightly bummed out. Um, two of my friends can't come to dinner tonight because they have no babysitters, um, which is what happens when you're a parent sometimes. I'm bummed out because I haven't seen them. It's not that they, um, you know, like they ruined the night. It's all their fault. It's going to be shit. No, it's not anything like that. It's it's that I wanted to see them and I missed them. But we can always catch up at another time. So that's not a big drama. Um, it's just basically just going over like, you know, kind of like things that I was really interested in, like party favors if there's going to be any like some decorations and stuff like that so it's not a big drama at all um i'm going to go in with this gold um highlight this is the born to glow palette and this is a nyx born to glow palette if i can grab the freaking highlighter brush i'm just going to dust that over my cheekies Ta-da! Pretty highlighter on my face. Da, 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 da. And I can use, I can comfortably use four of those pa of those sh um, of those shades. So I, th I think it was a pretty good buy, to be honest. Um, if you can get your hands on it, definitely try. Definitely try. Um, for a little bit of different, I'm gonna go in with my um, Chaos 24/7 um, Glide On Eye Pencil from Urban Decay just to give myself a little like some like playfulness to the eye look. I think I'm gonna go I haven't used my um, hourglass mascara in a minute. I think I'm gonna use that. This is the caution mascara from hourglass. I think mine's actually drying out which is again another sad story but there are lots of drugstore mascaras that I like so again keeping it affordable where I can. 
Maybelline the Falsies has to be probably my favorite drugstore brand. Mascara. You know what I wish would happen like tomorrow or yesterday would have been great for a freaking Sephora to open here in Canberra. I'm so tired of having to order stuff off Sephora's website. It's annoying because they don't, um, they don't leave the boxes. They have to have signatures on everything. And nine times out of 10, the delivery driver says they come to the door and then they don't. And so you've got to go out to the shopping center, to the, to the person, uh, like to the post office or whatever and go and pick it up there. And it's just a big mess. It's just like, it'd be so simple for me to be able to just go out, go to a Sephora, get my Fenty stuff, get my ABH, if I want it. You know, like I could have the Norvina palette now if I wanted to, but I don't want it. I mean, I do want it, don't get me wrong. Like the colors are really pretty, but they aren't colors that I don't already have. So that's why I haven't been like dying to get it. Like I've already got those colors in my arsenal of makeup. And uh, frankly, I don't need any more makeup. I've got all the makeup that I need in order to, to achieve like any look. Um, so I don't need more makeup and I've been doing really well. I think the only thing that I have purchased this year would be the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. Or no, the, um, not Blood Sugar, Jawbreaker Palette. I think I bought Blue Blood last year. When, did Blue Blood come out this year or last year? I've only bought, I haven't ordered any ColourPop, which is very strange for me. I used to order ColourPop, like every time I got paid, I was ordering ColourPop. Um, but I haven't bought any ColourPop in ages. Um, yeah, eh. you know, just put myself on a budget, basically on a no-buy kind of thing. And um, it's working out really well. When I first started my channel, I was buying anything and everything. And like my husband was so sweet about it. He was just letting me because he wanted me to build up my, my, um, my, products so that I think he knew that there was going to be an influx of purchasing and then it was going to taper off um, simply because I just wanted to be able to catch up to everybody basically. Um, uh, I'll do my lips last. So this is the Seal the Deal Flower Beauty Setting Spray. And this has a really nice fragrance to it as well. And see that just kind of melts everything and it's not like it's it's got a really pretty like skin has been lived in for a little while kind of look to it and I really really like it I'm gonna go in with Gerard Cosmetics um, lip liner uh, lip pencil in the color share I swear this is like the perfect lip color tone. I, I love this lip pencil. I'm going to use the uh, Mix and Matte um, Lip Duo. And this one is the color Honey Nude. And then right in the center, I'm gonna take the gloss. And I'm just gonna pop that right in the center of my lip. And ta-da! I don't know why I waste much, so much time on my lips because I'm just going to eat my lipstick off anyway. But, um, yeah. So, um, I have rambled a whole lot in this video. It's not going to make any fucking sense to anybody. It makes no sense to me. Um, so, yeah, I've just been a little scatterbrained. Haven't done one of these in a while, and I think it shows. But, um, I hope you guys like this look. I think it's really pretty. I'm... 
unlock it. And I've never had an issue with BH Cosmetics products before either. So um, if you haven't tried BH Cosmetics, um, I would, or BH Cosmetics, however you want to say it, H, H, whatever, uh, tomato, tomato. Um, if you want to try them out, I would definitely suggest it. Um, another palette of theirs that I have is the Galaxy Chic palette. It's this one here. And the colors in here are just, they're all shimmers, every single one of them. That's the only thing I don't like about it is that they're all freaking shimmers, but fuck me if they aren't pretty. Um, but you know, that's, I mean, they're good. They're good. I like BH Cosmetics. I came up with a really pretty look tonight. Um, this is a palette I hadn't used before. Um, and I'm really excited. Yeah. I like this look. Um, I'm excited for tonight. I'm going to go up with a couple of my girlfriends. Yes. A couple have had to cancel, but it happens and I'm not going to get like, um, I'm not going to be like, well, then you can't come to my party, um, about it. It shit happens. And I know that, and that's okay. And we'll catch up at another point and fill them in and it'll be fun. So, um, two of my girlfriends are going to meet each other for the first time tonight. So that's going to be fun. And yeah, I guess that's it. Um, thank you so much for watching you guys. Um, I know I've been gone for a while. Um, I feel like because my contract is finally ending, I can really start focusing on my channel. So, um, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Yay. Makeup on the teeth? No. Excellent.